Hey boys and girls, it's Tasha here, and today's podcast episode is sponsored by Care Of. We love that. That's so cute and gorgeous. I love them. I love their vitamins. Um, With the busy holiday season behind us, you know, it's important to reprioritize yourself. Uh, With the days being cold and short, I know that it can affect mental health and stuff like that. But this helps focus on your health and find a routine that works for you. Stay on track with your health goals with Care Of. They have daily packs that make taking your vitamins easy to stick to every day, which I have to use because I'm so ADHD, um, and that's why I love them very much. Um, and it's just a subscription service that ships, you know, personalized vitamins for you, supplements, and they also have powders, and it delivers to your door every month, which I love that because, you know, a girl's license is still revoked. You can actually um, retake the quiz as well. Um to evolve with you, you know, if you're growing and you need to switch up your vitamins or you just don't like certain ones or whatever, you can switch it up, girls. They're made just for you. They're good for you. They're clean ingredients, um, which is my favorite thing because, you know, I'm real weird about what I put in my body. I don't eat meat and stuff like that. So that's why I really do love Care Of. For 50% off your first Care Of order, go to TakeCareOf.com and enter code UNFAZE50. Again, get 50% off your first Care Of order by visiting our sponsor at TakeCareOf.com and entering code UNFAZE50. Um, And it takes very good care of your body and we love that. So I hope you guys check them out and love them as much as I do. Hey girls, how are we? Hey y'all, I'm so excited to be on the podcast today because I have a lot of shit to fucking talk about. Thank you. Um, If you're watching the visual, this is how we feel. On the inside, yes. And if you got a problem, you can suck my butt. <laughs> <laughs> so when we send this to our management team, they're going to probably be pissed. But this is like, look at my face. Very cute and gorgeous. If y'all watch the visual, look at my face right now. Look at that big ass forehead. She's a whole alien in these streets. Hey, it's me. How you doing? <laughs> look at my eyebrows. Look at my eyebrows. <laughs> Block kid. Um, so I'm very excited to get a tummy tuck. Oh my God. I'm so excited about this. I have been like calling around and I'm going to do it. She dead ass did too. I- I'm sitting in the living room and I hear, hey, I would like to schedule a tummy tuck. Is Thirsty okay? <laughs> and she's like, I-, I don't need the consultation. <laughs> Bitch. I was like, this is not real. I'm trying to get this done tomorrow. I'm trying to get this done today. <laughs> no, me with a BBL. No. Oh my God. No, literally, we need to manifest the things we want done this year and i need my bbl finally this is the thing and when i get it like i said when i get it because i am getting you bitches it, won't be able to tell me nothing well people are going to be so mad they're probably gonna be like what the fuck because anytime i've ever talked about like my body or like i posted something on my instagram story and i was like what's a good way to train her people like really were coming from did something Tasia, right? the fucking <laughs> well the chairs are already broken <laughs> Yeah, they're oh, already, it just pops back in. Yeah, okay, it's not broken, they're but... Already, they're already broken anyway. It's trash, so... But yeah, people, like, always come for me about it, and honestly, like, it is what it is. Like, after I had Greenlee, my skin eventually tightened back up, but mm-hmm. obviously it's only been three months <laughs> with Princeton. Like, I know that it takes some time, but, like, I'm, like, this the loose skin. Like, I've lost the weight, so what's the skin doing? I mean, skin can or cannot. Some, it depends. Everybody's skin is different. It's, I mean, the way to think about it is, like, a balloon. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, a balloon, like, when you stretch it or, like, when you blow it up and then you let all the air out, it doesn't ever look so cute yeah. and small and tiny. Yeah. And some people, they, they bounce back fairly easily, and some people, they get left with loose skin, which is totally fine. But if somebody wants to, you know, fix that with surgery, bitch, there's, that shouldn't be a problem. Either save your coins or get over it. Like, <sighs> people should be able to do whatever the fuck they want to do with their body. Regardless if somebody thinks you need it or not, it really com- yeah, boils down to what you, you want. Right. Um, and I will be getting my BBL. My grandmother was having a fit the other day because I said, I hope you know I'm getting my ass done this year. Well, she said, would you want to do that? I also have a scar from a belly ring. Um, when I first got my um, stomach pierced, my belly button pierced, mm-hmm. um, it migrated out. And 
So my whole life, I've always been like, oh, I can't have um, piercings because my body rejects them because for years my body did reject them. But I have my, you know, top pierced, if you know what I'm saying. Your ta-ta. My ta-ta. They are pierced okay. and my nose piercing and they haven't gotten infected. And I think it's because I don't wash my body or my face with anything scented. And I wish yeah. that I would have known that back then because, anyways, my belly button migrated out and ripped out of my skin. And so I have a thick-ass scar on my belly button. And so if I was to get a tummy tuck, they'd be able to get rid of the scar as well. Yeah, but, but you'd have a new scar. Yeah, and period per. And you know what I'm saying? It, You're going to trade that, uh, that little scar for a scar that goes across your whole waist. So just, yeah. just keep that in mind, bitch. Yeah. I also have a scar in my belly button from getting my tubes tied, but they said it's supposed to like eventually go to the back of your belly button where you can't see it. But I'm just like, okay, period. Y'all stop lying to me. <laughs> um, but anyways, it don't matter because this little poo nanny ain't popping out. No more cheering. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm so excited about that, but I don't know. Maybe I need to just like come to Jesus about it and just continue my eating healthy and all this shit and just let it do what it's going to do and stop being so fucking hard on myself. You should definitely stop being so hard on yourself, but at the same time, whether you need it or whether you just want it, I mean, really and truly, the thing is, is nobody needs plastic surgery. Like, it's not essential to your survival, but if somebody wants it and you can afford it, per, like, what's it to you, bitch? If you want to do it, bitch, do it. If you don't want to and you want to just continue being a healthy queen... Do it. Whatever your heart desires. Period. Shoot for the fucking stars. Yes. You should. I also want to talk about like the backlash that I got on my TikTok this morning. Well, oh, just in general. Like, in general, yeah. I got on TikTok and I don't. Okay, so I'm not going to say I don't read my comments because I do, obviously. Yeah. But I don't like read all of them because there's obviously some in there that are negative. And honestly, like, I'm very grateful that majority of tiktok comments are positive and i think that that has to do with tiktok's guidelines and all that oh yeah girl um because it would be a lot to someone's mental health to get on there and see so much backlash like how vine was it's mm. overwhelming um but anyways i saw this um it was a baby brezza ad that i did and i i stand by the baby brezza i do you've been using the fuck out of that thing i stand by it and so honestly i was like you're damn right i will do an ad for this because i fucking love it and um it's a lifesaver especially in the middle of the night and it's fast um anyway so it was a somebody commented on that ad and they were like is that a hot shot because i had staff what infection. is hot shot it's like people that have ever used needles on drugs like they'll inject their arm or somewhere on their body with drugs the staph infection fucking shit you had on your arm huh the staff that you have on your yes, arm yes queen Girl, staff is a thing. And so, anyways, I didn't know that staff scarred though. Oh, girl, I told you, my I have a really bad staff mark from six, seven years ago on my legs. It's too, and it was purple like that, and it stayed purple for like two years. Oh my gosh! I bitch. swear. And then after that, it's like it's got like a little indention, but you can see where the scar yeah. was. Well, they were like, "Is that a hot shot?" And I'm like, first of all, one thing that I don't like, y'all can come for me, whatever. But when you say some shit about drugs and like first of all i've never even done that i've never i'm blessed that i never took that route even when i was in my addiction like i never did that i was always really fucking scared to do that um because people get like really strung Thank the God. fuck out yeah. and they they it's like it's so fucking dangerous but um yeah i never did that but i was like bitch what the fuck is wrong with you um but also, like, people had come for me about that uh, video I did with Greenlee to 3-6 Mafia, and they were, like, raising her right, like, being a smartass. And I'm like, girl, you're damn right. I grew up listening to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and I still went sentenced to prison. Right. So See, when you, when you shelter your child and you have all these restrictions and you, like, baby them, then they grow up and they want to rebel. If you're... This is the thing, you too. know, like the, she, the, if she's going to hear those things in the real world, not saying that like mothers should be out here shit fuck damn ass bitch in front of their children all the time. But like at the same time, like it's just a word. But honestly, like when I was younger, my mom and my dad, they listened to rap. They listened to rap. Yeah, and same. Whatever. It never altered my mind to be like, oh, fuck everybody. I, you know what I'm saying? Like I music is music. But 
I also am a strong believer that no matter how somebody is raised, they make their own decisions. Oh yeah. And I am not one of those moms that is like going to be scared of my kids listening to certain me. I'm not doing that. It's not, I'm not. And I just pray that obviously they grow up and they're, you know, good citizens of society and they don't follow in their mother's footsteps. But you know, I'm, I don't regret going through what I did because I, I said this when I got out of prison, I, I firmly believe that I went through this so that I can be at the place in my life that I'm at now because like I have shit to talk about. You know what I'm saying? What's up? I went to prison. I got a whole story to tell you. Open your book. Take notes. Oh my God. Um, no, but like, I'm not ashamed of it. And I feel like a lot of people for years, like that's what they wanted to do is this shame me and shame me and shame me. Well, fuck you, bitch. You can't shame the shameless. Um, yeah. but yeah. And then that comment today on my Instagram post, like it was a picture of me and Greenlee. First of all, um, my kids didn't, they, before they were conceived is when I was a fucking lunatic. But um, anyways, it was a picture of me and Greenlee and it was a cute and gorgeous pose with me and Green Girl. <laughs> and somebody was like, uh, the caption said something like, I don't know what I did in life before you, you know, sweet and cute and gorgeous. Love that. And this bitch was like, you are doing drugs. I say this with love. Love you. Bitch, you like, like you forgot. <gasps> Oh my God, Pearl, you know what? You're right. I forgot all about that time period. Thank you for the reminder, queen. Like, and she was, and then so I posted and I was like, don't be like this girl. And she was like blowing up my thing. She's like, oh my gosh, I was just joking. Like how you joke on your TikTok. Funny first joke, Pearl. Yeah. First of all, I can joke about it because it's me. It's my life. I've been through it. And TikTok, and first of all, you can do that on posts and shit. Like I'm all ha ha he and hoo hoo kiki with you or whatever. But on a fucking picture with my daughter that is sentimental, you want to post some dumb shit like that? Anyways, right. Anyways, usually shit don't get to me, but some people just have the fucking audacity for me. No, they they, they do. I, I, the internet is so funny. I, I, I just, what bothers me, it's not even the comments. It's like TikTok has these like guidelines. And like if somebody says something out of pocket like that, it'll get left up. The amount of times where I have like, made a video response and like I kept it PG and like didn't like tr I really tried my best to make it TikTok appropriate and it'll get taken down for bullying and harassment and then their comment or their video will stay up yeah and it's like what but people they they're never ready for the reaction and they think that because you're like a creator and you have a platform and you have followers that you're just supposed to be you know, tough as nails and not let anything get to you. Not saying that you're bent out of shape crying about it, but at the same time, like, people can have 50 million followers. The Kardashians, they are still people. Like, they are deep down still a person, and they may seem unbothered, and their brand is, like, so, you know, I don't give a fuck. But deep down, I they, they feel things, too. So my thing is, like, if you're going to fucking say some nasty ass out of pocket shit, like, don't get fucking bit out of shape. Because then you said something to her and she was like, I love you. I've loved you for years. Please eat my pussy. Like, <laughs> kiss my ass, bitch. What did you expect? <laughs> I mean, am I like, am I tripping? Like, what did you expect? Holy shit. <laughs> Did you did you think that she was going to be like, oh, Queen, those are my favorite core memories. Thank you for the reminder. Great time period. Holy shit. On that note, let's take a break and we'll be right back. <laughs> hey, boys and girls, it's Tasia here. And today's podcast episode is, of course, sponsored by Care Of, my favorite place to get my vitamins. I love them so much because it delivers right to your doorstep. The vitamins are good for you. Clean ingredients. We love that. Y'all know that I don't eat meat and stuff like that. So it's very important what goes in my body. Um, they have personalized packs just for you and they're plant-based. We love a plant-based queen. You can take a short in-depth quiz about your health goals. And then if you evolve from where you were when you took the quiz, you can just retake it and get different vitamins 
that go best with you at that time delivered to your doorstep and it's a subscription service that ships for you like i said they have vitamins supplements and powders we love that stay on track with your health goals through care up they have daily packs that make taking your vitamins easy to stick to every day and you know i'm adhd so i have to have that you know what i'm saying i have to have a little help from the girls and care of helps me do that especially with the days being hot and cold it can really kind of mess with your mental health and this helps focus on your health and find a routine that works for you so check them out for 50% off your first Care Of order, go to TakeCareOf.com and enter code UNFAZE50. Again, get 50% off your first Care Of order by visiting our sponsor at TakeCareOf.com and entering code UNFAZE50. And I love them. I hope you love them too. We're back. We're back and we're better. Bitch, oh, you say that you every time. That? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Uh, creatures of habit. Um... Okay, so kind of on the same topic, like people just throwing shit in your face. I can't stand a bitch who constantly is like reminding you of like bad moments of your life or like embarrassing moments. It's like, girl, what are you doing? Like they'll always like show you. <laughs> oh the, they'll always show oh you uh, the ugliest pictures. Can you of hear you. me? Yeah, I can't hear myself. We, at we, all. The, the the things it's still picking us up. Oh, okay, but. period. Per. Oh hey, how you doing? Why why we haven't updated these chords? Couldn't tell you, bitch. Why but... call me Tegamon, like Megamon, but Tegamon? with Tasia. Tasia. Good night. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! But I can't stand that shit. They always want to remind you of like the 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 troubled times. Like, remember when you had to pay for gas with change, bitch? Yes. How could I forget? Like, People are so fun girl, but as far as I'm aware, your circumstances are the same as they were 10 years ago. <laughs> You're still living in the trenches, working a regular schmegular nine to five. What are you pressed about? My bills are paid and I'm laying in my bed playing motherfucking Nintendo Switch and you being a motherfucking little bitch. You know what I'm saying? Purr, yeah. purr, purr, <laughs> mama. We love it. <laughs> ah! no, it's, the, it's the truth, though. It really is. That's why. Let I like... a bitch level up. Yeah. If you want to, if you, if you're jealous, just say that. You do it on your own. Do your own thing. I mean, and the thing is, is I be giving bitches the blueprint. I be like, look, this is all you got to do. And I've seen it happen again and again and again for people. I'm like, this is all you got to do. Take my word. Listen. Boom. Post. Flight. If you can't fucking do the bare minimum and, and, and follow what I'm telling you to do, bitch, don't be jealous of me for doing it and executing it. You, sorry. It's, it's just sign the cards for everybody. You know what's so crazy, too, is I'm not going to say names, but there's a lot of creators that are. I, I'm i not stupid. There's a lot of creators that are, like, jealous as fuck. It's a competition. They're jealous as fuck. Um, there's, like, I can't even I can't even start talking about it without giving away who it is. Ugh. Anyways, it's just embarrassing. And I'm just like, listen, I have. Yes, I'm 23. I'm young. I'm a young chicken out here. <laughs> Okay, a spring. I'm chicken. tight as fuck. <gasps> um, <laughs> no, but um, I'm a spring chicken out here. But I am so much older because one, I've been through way too much bullshit. But I also have children. Like I've settled down. Like I'm, I'm a lot older than most people my age. Um, and that I think comes with having children. Like there's a lot of people. If you don't have kids and shit, you don't have to really grow up. Do your thing, honey. I'm not Perfect. mad at you. Yeah, no, no. But, I, I, I honestly, I can say that's true because I feel like a child in comparison. I'm 27, and I see people who have children and X, Y, Z, and I'm like, I'm still just having fun. Yeah, and I mean, it's just crazy because I feel like people will like low key like not like you or have beef with you because you're doing better than them on platforms and shit. And I'm like, girl, I don't have time for this shit. Like, I, you're not even on my level, on my, on my fucking level, ho. Because uh, just the way that you're fucking acting, like, what the fuck is wrong with nobody, you, bitch? And, and nobody wants to fucking sit here and listen to you mope around. And also, it's not a fucking. I don't think it's funny. Like for certain people to like romanticize like drinking a lot and like doing drugs and like oh yeah the shit is not like you're not fucking cool you look dumb as fuck and you need to go get help. What's funny is it's nine times out of ten they've like drank or 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 popped like one Molly in their life and they're like yeah I'm, I'm just so fucked up. It's like the first time they've ever done anything and that becomes like their whole brand for months. It's like okay, bitch. You want people to think you're a fucking hard ass. This is the thing ass. too. Like it's one thing to be like transparent about what you've been through in your past and like you're on the other side of things. But to like 
talk about things so freely and like all the bad shit you've done and then to continue to still do things and act the way that you once were and you've been in trouble for it and all these things and then you come on a platform and you talk about it and like you're still doing the same shit and like thinking the shit's funny it's not funny it's i mean imagine if i was still out here shoplifting in these streets right like if you have a drug or alcohol problem and you've been in trouble for it and you're still doing those things and like romanticizing it on a platform where millions of people watch you like that what and there's a lot of people that do that on tiktok and like i've noticed like in the comments like people will come for them but it's like a lot of people think it's funny and i'm like it's not funny at all like it's really not funny and obviously like they're struggling and like you need to get help, but just the fact that you think that you can come on a platform and like continue to do that, like well, what they, the fuck they, is they, wrong they with you? They can't get attention otherwise, so. And so that's what they do, exactly. Yeah. And so views are low, so pop off. Um, <laughs> I'm, I know I'm being mean. I'm just like tired of fucking seeing it, like I am, you know. Um, but also one of my pet peeves is like when people like would compare me to influencers. Oh, I hate it. That I'm like I. That's embarrassing. Like, you're comparing me to somebody that is, like, who I was 10 years ago. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, like, they're still doing the same shit. We are nothing alike. We're nothing alike. Um, and usually, like, I'm, I hate, like, being, like, like, I don't, I hate drama and, like, I hate coming on here and, like, feeling like I'm talking shit. But, like, that's just where I'm at with it. You know? Like, do better. I know you're not little Donald, but you can do better. A. Hey, Look at you, they gave you whatever. Girl, let it out. That you live in. Hey. This is this is a safe space. You have we have the space for us to talk about anything, and it's not like you're you know dropping names and stuff. So yeah, per you know it, it could be about anyone if the shoe fits, lace the bitch. It's up. just like people have been. In, that's why I'm saying people. Okay. People. Yeah, people have been in trouble multiple times. And then they want to come on TikTok. I went out last night and I was so fucked up. And today I'm fucked up. And all I do is drink. Okay, period. You look like you a dumbass. You are so cool. You are so cool. You're the cool kid. Like, even when I was, like, in my addiction and, like, drinking and shit, like, I never got on social media. I'm, like, like, I'm so, so fucked, fucked, fucked up. up. Like, party. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Who the fuck does that? Um... <clears throat> But anyways, and then also there's these people, right? And they think that they're like these fashion influencers and like their poses when they post it. I'm like, you look like you're about to pass out because you're squeezing your body and it looks deformed. Not only that. Good but, night. <laughs> and I'm going to show you who I'm talking about. And all, and then there's a, like other people. I, I, I sound like a bitch right now, but I'm not. <laughs> I mean, maybe I am a little bit. And I don't give a fuck. I, I'm not giving a fuck today. Because this is where I'm let, at. Let them. it all out, bitch. But also, like, they'll be they'll think that they're making a fashion statement. Bitch, the colors, who wears orange with brown? I am scared. Orange with... I am fucking okay, terrified. It's, it's giving scarecrow, but I, I'm, I'm going to have to see it because I feel like but, but the right orange. But they're gorgeous queen, and they're an influencer, and people are like, what? I Period. think orange and brown could work. I mean, it no, could be No, but I'm, I'm just giving examples. Like okay, okay. The, the, the non-matching, the, the shoes that look like boxes and shit. Like, I'm so scared. Uh, see, but I, thought, I thought a lot people. of it was cute and gorgeous. But it's multiple people. Like, what's... I don't know. I don't know. But look, I'm going to make fun of myself as well because if you go through my Instagram pictures and look, like, look at old ones, there's so many of... Like, I'm sucking in so much and it's my ribs are showing. It's, and, like, it's, a, it's a mental illness. And my ribs... I'm like this. <gasps> Honey, we know you're skinny. Right. But, but you, you need to eat a cheeseburger. Oh, my God. Um, no, but it's just like... Why did I do shit like that? And like when I look at older it's pictures, it's a sickness, dude. Oh, I know. And I was very sick. And when I look at old pictures and like who I am now, I'm like, this is what? Like I was trying to be somebody that I wasn't. Like it's giving off. I wish that I lived in L.A. and I, uh, you've seen them. Yeah. No, looking back at my old pics too, it was, I was a different person. Um, but you know what? Everyone grows. Everyone grows. Everyone, everyone like, is on their I own journey. I was 17 journey. years old. I had no <gasps> business doing that. Oh my God. She looked like a whore. Actually, I was 16. Uh, I had no business doing that, Cam. She looks like a little slut. But I was, and I was very <gasps> cute. Look how tan I was. Look at the body. Giving. The giving, body giving. was definitely giving. Oh, it's giving. And the tan was giving. It was giving sauce. It was, I was giving a juice. sexy beauty queen, but at the same time, I've always time, liked I'm like, this picture right here. Wow. It, look, show the girls. That was very cute and gorgeous. 
Well, I guess you can't really see, but um, that is so purr. The hair is giving my massage. But see, that was a lifestyle. She was just showing a lifestyle. Yep, and I was a party animal, and I loved it. I was popping a zen. Oh, my goodness. I was. I really was. There's, there's like, videos and shit that people have from me, and it's probably very embarrassing. Oh, my God, and they will hold on to those oh, videos they will. forever. Oh, my God, we go way back. Per- okay. Us <laughs> cracked out in a basement. Oh, period. Okay, let me tell y'all. So, I'm going to tell y'all a story, and if this person listens, I don't give eat a fuck. my fucking pussy. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, okay, so it was, like, last, mm, last year – sometime i think like maybe anyways i don't remember when it was but it was the first time i went out to like a club since um you know coronavirus and um i went with like a group of people from my school right and i hadn't seen them since i started growing a platform and this girl who knows us both i hadn't seen her in at least two years she fucking like literally was just like it was so embarrassing her just trying to like dick ride yes i didn't want to say it but yes and she was like oh my god like me and tasha go way back like and she had these pictures she pulled them out and they was like old as fucking you were looking fucked up and slumped mama in a basement somewhere and she was like see we were like besties <gasps> and she stole from my fucking house and i was like girl you fucking crackhead in what language were y'all besties Never. never were, honey. Never. Y'all saw each other twice. And it was just so, it, it was, it was honestly like that night, it's, it's very vivid in my brain because I just remember how everyone that night was just acting so fucking weird. Like there people don't know how to act when they get around somebody who like grew online. And let me tell you, this is not fame. Y'all people from my hometown, they'd be like, Oh, like you're just like too famous now for no, me. It's no, bitch. Even, we're just word. not compatible. And I don't like you. And I never did. Yeah. Period. Like, no, tell you, I I, I'm not too famous. I, was, I guess I was too famous back then because I didn't fuck with you then. I don't fuck with you now. It's embarrassed. Like I, I've always hated that word. Like when people say it makes me uncomfortable. Because famous. I'm, yeah, she's famous. Like that's embarrassing. She's a famous girl. And then to like think that people are like, they actually genuinely might like you, and then they say that, and I'm like, now I can't hang out with you because right. like, why would you do that? I'm not famous, bitch. I have followers. There's a difference. I'm Kim Kardashian is famous. Yes. Okay, the paparazzi follows her. And, and I love that like it's it's becoming more normal for influencers to to call themselves influencers. Like yeah. there's like they're on TV shows and shit and they're still referring to themselves as an influencer because that's originally what you are. Like you're an influencer. Like Oh, back in the day it was like so cringe to like give yourself that title but like I but mean, no that is literally that it's a it's literally a job like that is, is what you are labeled as if somebody says hey what do you do for a living you're an influencer it's a thing you're not famous you have a community and people like your content you're an influencer you you make money you make a living that's what you are so if people get hit by that that's on you i would feel hit if people were like oh i'm so famous like that's weird and i'm cringe uh, i'm cringing <laughs> actually i'm shaking in my knockoff crocs right now like what the fuck? Her okay. Brocks. Okay. 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 Burr. Okay. Miss CNN. Like no, what the I, fuck? I, I can't Forks? stand. I can't stand when people like refer to us as famous or they'll be like, "Oh my god, they're just so famous." Or like I'll see comments and people are like, "I was just so nervous to come up to you because you're so famous." I'm like, "Girl, I'm not famous." Oh, like this one time I was in Target and this girl came up to me and she was like, it, "Literally, it was so uncomfortable because just the way she did it, she didn't say hey or nothing. She goes, "Oh my god, that's the famous baby," talking about Greenlee, and I was like okay come say hey don't be weird about it yeah that was just like what the fuck and you have to like kids don't know what the fuck's going on Greenlee's a two-year-old you think she She was like hey girls yeah she's like what and Greenlee don't give a fuck she'll be like hey get up get up because that's her favorite thing she likes to say right now everybody get up (laughs) um and I'm like okay period like when the baby's crying she'll be like mommy uh get up baby crying mommy get up whole brother I'm like okay period why don't you do it then Uh Oh my God. Miss Demanding, old tumbleweed. I love you, Green Girl Mommy. Let's sit. Um, <laughs> we're going to go on a break. We'll be right back. Today's episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. I've been using BetterHelp now for a long periodically time, and it's been very cute and gorgeous. I love having somebody else besides just Tasia to talk to. 
So listen, if there's something preventing you from achieving your goals or something interfering with your happiness, check out betterhelp.com slash unfazed. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Connect in a safe and private online environment. It's so convenient. You can literally get somebody in like 48 hours or less. Like it's very cute and gorgeous. My favorite thing is no waiting rooms, no humans. That used to stress me out. And honestly, I'm so lazy, so I I just wouldn't even do it. So now I don't have to worry about that because it's all on my phone. Very cute and gorgeous. So listen, I want you to start living your best life, girls. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash unfazed. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash unfazed hey girls (laughs) so last week's episode was trash doo-doo shit um we don't know what happened i'm still i'm fucking pissed i don't know what happened something in the translation the file got cryptid and it just kept looping the same some bullshit okay we're not fucking technical gurus but um yeah hopefully y'all like this episode better um I do want to talk about, before we wrap this one up, the experiences I've had over the past few weeks because it's just been like a little timeline. Um, so I think the last time I, I talked about this, it had just been, you know, I threw the dog shit in my neighbor's yard and he called the, po- the police or whatever. So since then, I went live that one day. Yeah. Um, Loved it. Fucking hilarious. Bitch. So basically, okay, so my next door neighbor had threatened my life, yada, 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 whatever. And so I went and bought a camera. I went outside and I started, you know, installing the camera. And this lady, um, I guess, what is that, like adjacent or however, she's like on the side units of my building. And like our community is like, there's uh, every unit is entitled to one parking spot and it's like marked the number of your house and then there's one in between each marked spot and that's like first come first serve communal anyways so I leave my numbered spot open for my grandmother because she's 70 some years old I'm not gonna have her fucking walking from goddamn Timbuktu to come in the house so I you know kind of park elsewhere well anyways I always find the first available unmarked spot around because my next door neighbor, his bitch ass entitled self, parks his car that like doesn't ever move in my unmarked spot, but it's not your spot. Possibly. Anyways, so um, she said, oh my God, no, she did literally. So <laughs> I'm installing the camera, right? And she comes outside and just starts filming me didn't say anything to me and I'm like standing on a chair and I'm just installing the camera and then she's like filming me and I'm like, hey. Can I help you? And she's like, I, I'm i going to call the police. You are trespassing and I can view you as a threat, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, bitch, I'm like across the street in my chair. What are you talking about? So I had never seen her face physically. But for months, she was putting like nasty letters on my um, windshield. And I would literally just peel them right off my windshield and then put them on her door. The same note she left. And then one time she was like, I'm going to call the police. You better not ever park here again. And so I wrote on the note, you do not own the parking spots, bitch. And I put it on on her door. (laughs) And anyway, so... One day, my one of my well, I have a my car only has one windshield wiper. And so my windshield wiper went missing and it's hard to find one for my car because it's like just one windshield wiper that goes across the whole entire um windshield but anyways so she took my i'm assuming she took my um windshield wiper off because who else would and i was parked in what she thinks her spot anyways so she's like i'm gonna call the police and i was like bitch i'm not fucking intimidated I, d- I don't give a fuck what you got going on i'll call them myself and she's like oh you're not intimidated and i said fuck no bitch and she's like yelling and yelling and yelling and i was like bye unmarked spot bye 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 and i walked inside she was pissed so then on the camera i can hear her talking to the police and i come outside and that's when i went live and so i went live on my second um tiktok and I just, from A through Z, filmed the whole thing. And I was, the police came. I talked to them. I told them, you know, like, look, this is the rules of the community. She's tripping over a parking space. It's not hers. Now, mind you, she was already parked. And I had been there all night. This bitch always puts her trash can behind my car. And what's, like, so, pe- like, I'm a petty bitch. Okay, but trash day is Friday. That was, like, 
a Tuesday or a Wednesday, she had to literally get her trash can from behind in the woods area. Behind, she's like, there's like six units and hers is like smack dab in the middle. So she had to walk behind like three units, bring that shit around to put it behind my car to prove some point. Like it was going to block, blo- uh, block me and no bitch, I'm going to put it right behind your car. So anyway, so she, the cops come and purr, I think, um, Oh, it's the fucking movie. It's a mo- and like it's um look okay. just look up the movie um picture. Anyways, um fuck my ADHD brain. Sorry friend, sorry friend. It's okay. Fuck. Um yeah, so she pulls the fucking trash can around behind my car, whatever. Just petty, childish, and so she called the police. The police were on my side about the whole thing because they were like this is a HOA problem, ma'am, like you got to calm down. You're tripping, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I'm petty. Like, you're over here trying to get me in trouble. And I've done nothing wrong. I paid to live in this community. And this is the shit I can't fucking stand. Bitches were mad in my comments, turning it into a race thing and saying, oh, this is white privilege. No, the fuck. There, there was n- no. That had nothing to do with it. White privilege is very fucking real. But I am not going to sit here and listen to that shit in this instance. Like, literally had nothing to do with race. This woman called the police on me about a parking space that does not belong to her. The lease that she and I both signed says the same thing. That's not your spot, mama sauce. Sorry about (laughs) it. Get the fuck over yourself. These bitches are so entitled in my community. And, like, we don't live in a fucking nice-ass fucking place in the hills like it's not like like ghetto but it's like you know it's it's in the middle of ghetto and okay like and they act like we live in goddamn buckhead or the fucking hills or fucking like beverly hills like bitch get out of here like this is a fucking duplex like y'all act like it's like us living in an apartment like you can't fight over parking spaces right first come first serve motherfucker right now if i was parked in your marked spot you would have a fucking argument but you don't like so yeah so i did people can call it me being antagonistic but like she's clearly off her fucking medication or fucking unhinged or something like bitch you're going nuts over a parking space she said i was a fucking bully that was the first time i ever saw this stupid up fucking bitch and she's put fuck, fucking putting shit on my car she threw coffee on my windshield and apparently she couldn't go to jail for um vandalism there was coffee all over my windshield it was sticky and they were like well she didn't physically damage your car Bitch. Oh, excuse me so you're telling me i can go throw coffee in her car no because if the roles were reversed i would have left in handcuffs yeah um but pop off queen so apparently that's um, like saying like if somebody spits on you oh they, they didn't actually touch you bitch what no, no that, that's, that's not that's true assault. you cannot spit on somebody right and, and so anyways long story short she was pressed and so the 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 what what bothered me though is the day prior when me and the next door neighbor got into it and like you know he was pissed about the dog shit i had mentioned finally after years like you know i've been fucking complaining about the parking situation for years and so i finally brought that up to him i was like well you're fucking entitled and yeah you take advantage of the fact that technically that's not my spot but it's like now you're causing a disruption because I'm having to park over here and it's getting these fucking bitches all worked up and you have three cars, two or three cars and you like come and purposely park the one that never moves in my spot. Like, and then there's another bitch at the end. I got her on video the other day. She's done this shit since I fucking lived there. She has one car living in her unit. Why did I have literally have her on video leaving her marked spot to take over the unmarked spot? And that fucking shit stayed open all night and i can't park in the marked spot no one parked there and that happens all the time it'll be like i'll come home at like midnight and all the fucking marked spots will be open and the unmarked spots will be taken like these bitches are like this is this is all i have to my name i'm gonna show him i'm gonna purposely make it difficult for him to park get over yourself your fucking pussy is dusty as shit bitch. <laughs> you haven't got laid in goddamn years and you're fucking pressed about it it sounds like a fucking personal problem to me. Like, get get over your fucking self. Get off your goddamn high horse. I pay to live here, too. And she's over saying I trespass, and bitch, 
trespassing. It and ain't then, trespassing. It's a fucking y'all live literally right next to each other. That's like right. me going to somebody in front of somebody's door at the apartment. That's not trespassing. Right. And then like what was so ironic was watching fucking the Russian guy next door. Stalker, smucker. Watching him fucking <laughs> go over to this lady <laughs> and try to fucking console and comfort her about the parking situation when the I'm literally going by the rules he told me the day prior. He said, that is not your parking space, blah, 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 via the lease agreement. Okay, so why are you comforting her <laughs> bitching about a parking space that's yeah. not hers? Why don't you go over there and be like, you know what? He was right. You're wrong. No, instead he's over there like, yeah, he's a nuisance, blah, say, blah, blah. Uh, that, the, the hypocrisy, bitch. That's literally, I'm going by your rules that you just fucking laid on me the other day and now you're going against them because you're trying to like uh, rally up with people who hate me and then I fucking get a notification on my motherfucking camera some bitches congregating in front of my house and I was down the street at motherfucking Starbucks and so I fucking got in my car zooming and came up fucking back home and it's fucking the HOA bitch and I start filming and I'm like Uh, You bitches are still talking about me? Obsessed. (laughs) And I got out and they were pissed. And this fucking raisin face ass bitch was like, "Um, excuse me, you don't know who I I am. And I was like, well, who are you? I don't give a fuck, Glenda. And she was like, I'm an HOA manager. Okay. And what are you going to do? Eat my hole. And so I'm like over here, um, I asked the neighbor, I'm like, so explain to me why you're consoling this neighbor on the same you know what you just told me was not my parking space now you're trying to like agree with her about me parking and her not park it don't make sense something like, i know so he goes i'm not talking to you and he runs inside whatever <laughs> and i'm outside with the fucking crazy psycho deranged neighbor who called the police on me she starts walking away and i'm left with the hoa lady and i'm like now that i have you gathered here brenda um i would just like to let you know about my side of the story because it's very clear that these bitches are trying to create some narrative and i'm tired about i don't know if it's because i'm a fucking raging big ass homosexual and y'all just got a motherfucking problem that's what with i me. wanted to say i wanted to make that that people note. people when will people say something about making... white privilege i would have said okay well it's giving homophobia then right and you I'm can like, play what? that fucking card it I'm has like, nothing wh- to do with that it literally didn't like how did what it had nothing to do with race. She called the police on me and threatened me and was th- putting stuff on my car. And I gave her the same energy back. If that makes me racist, what does that make her? Make, make it make, make motherfucking make, sense. Yeah. But the, the fucking HOA fucking raisin face ass bitch was over here telling <laughs> me, um, you know, I was explaining to her the parking situation. I'm like, I know technically that's not my parking space and blah, say blah. Um, so I can't get mad at him in my parking space. So she needs to keep that same energy. Um, and she was like, yeah, that is true. That's that's not her spot, blah, 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 blah. But she just had like this smirk on her face the whole time we were talking. And I was like, what is funny, queen? Like, I don't understand. And then I was like, and he's calling the police on me, throwing his dog shit back into his yard, blah, say, blah. And she's like, you know, I just think you're sensitive. I'm sensitive. Yeah. I'm petty. Yeah. I'm not sensitive. I think the one calling the police on me for their dog that shit being back sensitive. in their yard. I think the about one who's calling the police on me spot. about a parking space that ain't motherfucking hers. Yeah. That's motherfucking sensitive. I'm over here just standing my motherfucking ground because I'm tired of people thinking that they can walk all over me. I'm tired of pe- people thinking that they can like talk to me any type of way or like disregard me or like act like I'm just supposed to fall in line. Like who the fuck are you, bitch? And they all fucking say they know who I am and what I do. Like it's giving very much jealousy. Like I'm sorry that I literally worked my ass off to get to where I'm at and I'm doing things with myself. Like it, it, sorry you can't relate. Like <laughs> bitch. So anyways, long story short, I'm trying to move up out of this community As because you should, I'm tired queen. of it. I'm so tired. I am so excited to get the fuck out of this apartment complex. Like I'm so excited for a house. Like, oh girl, you gotta get out of a fucking apartment because these fucking loud ass bitches upstairs. Oh I know. Sounds like goddamn. Our lease is up in June. It's giving very much a herd of elephants. Yeah, it's fucking. It sounds annoying. like they're bowling. Yeah. Uh, but that's every apartment I've ever lived in. It's been that. Like if you live on the bottom floor, like people can tiptoe, and you're still gonna. It's still gonna sound so loud. That's why I hate apartments. And you know, also people are like coming for me in my comments saying things like. Especially when I like go on my little shopping halls or whatever, they're like, "Oh, so you can buy all this, but you're still living with your Mimi." First of all, why that has, y'all are helping each other out? That right, has nothing to yeah, do with right. Nothing. I have expensive habits, and I like to live a lifestyle, and I don't have a problem living in the same house with my grandmother she's divorced and she's lonely and she has nobody but my cats which she loves very much and if i move my cats are going with me and like 
I'm helping her pay the rent and she's helping me not have to pay a whole rent by myself. So it's like, I'm not just living there fucking rent free. Like some of you bitches are living in your parents' basement rent free and y'all want to come for me because what well, I have followers and I'm supposed to just live this luxurious lifestyle. TikTok don't motherfucking pay like that bitch. Yeah. It really doesn't. Yeah. And so um, I do live with my grandmother shamelessly. I, I talk about it all the time and I love it. Uh, I, I do. And I'm ready to move into another place with her. But I was like, I really want us to buy a house. Um, and I was like, I've saved up a good chunk of my, I'm actually very proud of myself this year. Yes, friend, you've um, been really good. In the beginning of the year, I had no money in a savings account. I was just like spending whatever came in and I've saved several grand now just saving. Like literally every money I get, I'll put like $200 in my cash app that I can spend and everything else. I'm putting it right in my savings account. So I'm like, I've never had this money saved up before. I'm willing as much as it's going to suck. I'm willing to drain my account to buy a house. Like we move into a house we buy, but she wants to still rent. And if that's the case, I'm getting my BBL. That's where my money's going, bitch. Yeah, so oh. little what was said, that? Hey, I'm awake. Oh my God. It sounded like somebody was screaming. No, that's little beep Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, bitch, there's so much going on. Life is crazy. Life is so funny. Ha ha. He he hoo hoo. hoo. But just trying to get cutesy pootsy and it's just not gonna work with me ever, Mama. It never will, Peppy Purr. I think that wraps up today's episode, though. I love today's episode. It was very cute and gorgeous, but this ring light is making my pussy hot. Yes, honey. But we love y'all and thank you for tuning in. Please be sure to rate, review, and subscribe. It would mean everything to us. Yeah. And y'all have a great week. We love you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.